your day without sun? Um, lately there hasn't been a lot of sun coming in through the window. I like the sun coming in through my window. I think that it has like, it adds like a very beautiful ambience and light or ambient light <laughs> into the studio space. But it's also good that it's been cloudy because the apartment gets really, really hot when the sun's out. So I don't know. As you can probably tell, or maybe not, I moved my desk. I think that you can't see it right now, but I'm right in front of my desk. Uh, I moved it to this side of the room just to see how I felt with it right here. I'm still trying to figure out how to accommodate and how to make this studio feel like a space that I really want to work in. So right now this is the setup that I have and I'm okay with it. I don't know that I will leave my uh, desk in here, but for now this is what I'm trying because it makes it very easy for me to record uh, like I'm doing right now with my camera right in front of the desk and because I am going to be painting ceramic pieces for this video, I thought it would be a great setup for that. But I don't know if after that I will be moving it somewhere else. Today is Saturday and I will be finishing the Spanish subtitles for my latest YouTube video. And then I will start painting the rest of the uh, ceramic pieces. I am taking it slow but you know at a steady pace because pace how do you say it pace or pace well the thing is i i i <laughs> i want to finish so that i can make the shop update on june sorry july i originally had said that i was going to do the shop update on july but um I don't think that will be possible, honestly, and I want to give myself enough time to actually finish painting the pieces and then taking the pictures and preparing everything for the updates. And you know, the more I work on projects like this, the more I learn about the time that I actually need to make the things and the projects that, I, that I'm um, working on. And in other news, aside from ceramics and freelance work, I do have more ideas for illustrations that I want to make, um, but I haven't had the time to do them, so hopefully once I finish painting the pieces and sending them to the kiln, I will have that time frame to draw something. I'm looking forward to it. But I've also been feeling a bit insecure about my style because I feel that at least illustration-wise, my like what I do lacks a bit of texture. I feel like I always use like flat colors and it just ends up looking well like that, very flat. So I am trying to figure out a way to make my illustrations have more texture. I, I think that that's the key word, <laughs> you know, texture. I really enjoy doing uh, doodles and sketches on my sketchbook because I feel that they have like the paper texture and also the, the, the ink texture, you know, the way that I decide the color in even when it's just like with one color with black or with red, I think that there's a lot of texture. Um, also like using colors like pencil like color pencils gives it texture uh, so i'm trying to translate that into my digital artwork and i think it's just a matter of putting into practice and trying different things i have as i said a couple oh <laughs> there's a lot of noise going on right now it's not even two by the way in case you were wondering. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I want to put more texture and I have some illustrations that I want to try this new style on. I mean, I wouldn't call it a new style per se, it's just adding or taking more, 
adding more into it or taking some elements out but also another of the things that is keeping me from doing it is just I feel that I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna hate it and it's gonna look awful <laughs> um, and that sort of keeps me from uh, trying from even trying you know so but you know I will give myself uh, the time to um, make mistakes and figure out how I want to paint things and how I what type of texture I want to add and blah 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 so I think that I will leave you to the rest of the um, vlog <laughs> I don't know why I always end my talking sections of the video with <laughs> like enjoy the rest of the uh, vlog but I guess Enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs>
Hey there. So, um, I spent the whole afternoon painting. It is already 8 p.m. <laughs> Um, and I don't think I will finish today. I think that it is best if I stop now and focus on finishing tomorrow. These are the three, um, the three flower bases that I'm working on at the moment. I still have another flower base that I haven't sketched yet because I'm not sure what I want to put onto it. And I have another ceramic piece left. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll show you what I have right now. I don't know. Oh, there it is. So this is a cat with a fishy on the other side. I still have some yellow parts to paint on this cat because uh, it's going to be like a tabby cat. No, is it tabby cat the term I'm looking for? The one that has black and white and sort of like an orangey color to it. So that type of cat. Uh, and then I have this other one, which is the pink cat that you already know. And then on the other side, there's going to be a black cat with green eyes and some flowers as well. So I tried and focused on painting the color elements and the rest that I haven't painted is because it's gonna stay white or because it's going to go black, like this one. This one is going to be a white cat and the rest of the elements are going. So the background is going to be black and then on this side is going to be a black cat and the background is going to be white. So it has like a half and half sort of black and white color to it. Except for I did add color on the eyes. The white cat has blue eyes and then the black cat has green eyes. Um, yeah, but I think I'm going to leave the painting the black parts for tomorrow. I do want to record a time time uh, I do want to record a time lapse of me painting uh, specifically this one, um, black and white. And yeah, and but you know, there's not a lot of light left in the day. So I think it's best if I stop here and I rest for <laughs> the rest of the day, which is basically night and continue tomorrow. I've been having lots of fun painting. It's so much fun. I really love painting ceramics. And I think, I'm not gonna report this, but I think, you know, I'm gonna take advantage of the light that I still have left and I'm gonna paint uh, what's left of me to paint in color. So basically the brownish, yellowish color I mentioned and the red parts from for the cats, which is like the mouth and the mouth and on the pink cat, the cheeks. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>
just wanted to show you what I did today, which is basically painting this. As I said, this cat is white, so the background is black, and on the other side, the cat's um, black, so the background's white. Um, I've left the white parts unpainted so that when it is uh, finally ready to be fired, you know, you, you'll still get like those white parts on the, on the ears and on the mouth too, but I think you can't see it very well. Anyways, and then I've also finished this other one. Um, if it looks a bit dirty is because of the pencil I used to sketch the drawings, but that's not going to show once it's fired. So I just have this one left to do, which is, you know, doing <laughs> the lines, um, the grid with black. Um, so the thing with ceramics is, well, with the painting part of it is that you have to apply three coats, like between two, three, sometimes four coats of paint for the color to really, really attach to the piece once it's fired. Uh, and, and, and for it to have like its full color potential, but if you give it like one or two, the color might come out a bit washed out, which is not necessarily a bad thing because if you want for the color to not have, uh, to be a bit more like transparent, like more, um, think about maybe watercolor like, uh, then you can not apply as many um, coats of paint, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing with uh, the grid section. I'm just gonna do one paint. I, uh, I've honestly never tried doing just one. I don't know how it comes up, but we will see this time and I hope that um, at the bare minimum I hope it's visible. That's all I want. I don't want it to be a very strong black, I just want for it to be visible. So that's what I'll be doing right now.
Well, I guess she will sit with us here. Um, this was fun. I thought it would take me a lot longer to edit the video, but I'm about to finish it. So I just needed to record the end. So this is, these are the pieces. This is the new batch. Um, I'm really happy with the way it came out. I tried a couple new different designs for the um, flower vases and the picnic mugs are back, as I said. I made this other happy flower uh, trinket bowl um, and I made this piece again and then I introduced the sun bow at uh, sun bow sun bowl um, which you know I guess could be a companion to the moon bowl I did make a moon bowl however that was a commissioned piece I did make a couple more commissioned pieces this uh, this month because I really wanted to try out how I felt doing ceramic commissions and so far so good so I think that probably next update I will also open some uh, ceramic commission slots but I also enjoy doing new designs for the shop so I'm gonna do a mix of commissions and uh, you know pieces new design pieces um, Nina is keeping me company here today she really loves the sun and I'm sitting on her chair, so she decided she was just going to sit on my desk, I guess. <laughs> I'm very, very excited about uh, doing another batch. I want to make another batch already, but first I need to finish the shop uh, updates. And I'm, I'm almost done. Um, it, I didn't make much changes. I only changed the banner and added the new pieces. So it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, if everything goes as planned, I will be uploading and you will be probably watching this video on Thursday and then on Saturday or Sunday, I will be um, opening the shop. I will be opening the shop and yeah, after that, I guess I will make more some pieces. So I guess this is the end of the video. And thank you so much for watching again. I hope that you really enjoy the new batch and the video as well. And I will be seeing you probably on the next video. I mean, surely I will be. Thank you.